Hi, I'm Kendra, a prenatal genetic counselor, and today we are going to be discussing what can CVS and amniocentesis test for. Many different genetic tests can be performed on a sample collected by CVS and amniocentesis. Most commonly, the tests that can be performed include one, a karyotype, which looks at all 23 pairs of chromosomes. This test can detect large pieces of missing extra or rearranged chromosomes. For example, this test can detect Down syndrome, trisomy 18 or trisomy 13, along with many other chromosome conditions. This test is not able to detect smaller deletions or duplications of chromosomes. A chromosome microarray test can detect these smaller deletions or duplications. Just like a karyotype, this test looks at all 23 pairs of chromosomes, but can also look for smaller pieces that are missing or extra. For example, this test can detect a fetus with Down syndrome, trisomy 18 or trisomy 13, but can also detect hundreds of microdeletion and microduplication syndromes. These syndromes can lead to a wide range of medical issues, including developmental delay or intellectual disabilities, seizures and or structural changes present at birth that can affect almost any part of the body. Another test that can be performed on amniotic fluid is a test called AFP. This test primarily screens for open neural tube defects such as spina bifida. This test can be abnormal if the fetus has certain other differences in development. If there is a family history of a specific genetic condition like sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis, or if one or both biological parents or donors have a genetic condition or are carriers of the same condition, a test can be ordered for that specific genetic condition. Talk to your healthcare provider or a genetic counselor about which genetic test is right for you.